Hello, hello! Today I have my sunglasses collection just in time for the end of summer. Um, no, I was putting off doing this video because my skin has been really bad recently and I knew that this would involve a lot of close-ups of my face, but my skin just keeps on getting worse so I thought, right, should probably film it now before my skin gets much worse and then I definitely wouldn't want to film it. So excuse the skin but I'm going to be showing you my sunglasses collection today. I probably should have just done this earlier in summer when my skin wasn't so bad but you know we're we're just having a break at the moment. It's all good. It's really not. It's really depressing. Like especially when you've already been on Riaccutane and you feel like you've done everything and your acne still comes back. It just it's so demotivating. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the sunglasses collection. I'm gonna show you all of my sunglasses. There's definitely way too many pairs of sunglasses for one girl, but I like sunglasses. So I'm going to start out with my more normal pairs of sunglasses and then move into the funky ones. Um, I'm also going to try not to ramble about each one, just basically tell you what it is and move on because we all know I can talk. So the first pair are these ones from Movement or MVMT, depends how you want to pronounce it, but they're basically these black cat eye sunglasses. So I normally wear these when I just want a standard pair of sunglasses, so when I'm driving or something, um, because I don't necessarily want to be seeing tinted red when I'm driving. It's not good. I've then got this quite similar pair from Urban Outfitters but I actually got these before the movement ones because I was sent those ones for free. But yeah I got these as a replacement for some ones I dropped I think when I was in Barcelona or something. Like it was the first day of our holiday and I dropped my sunglasses and that was it. Um, so I had to get some replacement ones when I came home and these were the most similar ones I could find. Um, so they're not as good as the movement ones because they're a lot cheaper um, and just less tinted. I mean, I say cheaper, like they're still Urban Outfitters, they weren't cheap, cheap. Um, but the movement ones were like 90 quid or something. I would never pay that for sunglasses myself because I'm just, I'm not very careful. I break a lot of things. Sorry. And then I have this sort of brown tinted pair from Shein, which I really like. I never really used to like brown tinted sunglasses, but then I got these and I was a fan. So they also have a sort of clear brownish tinted frame, which doesn't really sound great when you think like clear brown tinted, it doesn't sound nice, but I actually really like the look of them. I've then got these aviator style ones from Primark. I got them back in the day when everyone was getting them. I think they're only like a pound or something, but they really do not suit me. I hate them with a passion, but sometimes when I have friends around or I don't know, like sometimes people need to borrow sunglasses, so I just whack these out and I'm like, it's this or nothing. Take your pick. And no, I do let them use my nice sunglasses as well, but these are just good to keep handy if you don't know if you're gonna get your sunglasses back. Um, so yeah, brown aviator sunglasses. Oh, so pretty. I'm not bashing brown aviator sunglasses, they just don't look good on me. But if they look good on you, work it. Work it, gal. I I say a lot of things in my videos that I would definitely not say in real life, like work it. I then have these brown tinted tortoiseshell sunglasses which were my dad's but he was going to get rid of them and I was like Dave why? They're cute. Um, having said that I don't really wear them but they're still just nice to have in my collection for if I do decide one day that I want to wear something like this because I don't know, they're quite classic, so I don't think it'd be wise to get rid of them because they could be the next fashion trend, you know, and I'm saving myself some money by not getting rid of those, am I? I don't know. They're nice, I think. <laughs> My dad must have really liked brown tortoiseshell sunglasses because I also have this round pair from him, uh, which I really can't imagine him wearing, actually. They're quite out there for him. But yeah, they're just these round frame ones. I don't really wear them. But again, I'm just keeping hold of them in case, you know, they become a massive fashion trend. I think they were a bit of a trend a couple of years ago and I still didn't wear them, but they're not really taking up a lot of room. So if one day I really do fancy wearing some round sunglasses, 
I've got them. I've then got these ones which I was sent for free a little bit ago, but I don't really like them because the arms are a lot chunkier than I thought they'd be, so I just don't really wear them. But again, they're not really taking up a lot of space, so I thought might as well hang on to them. And if one of my friends wants them, then they are welcome to have them. I've then got this similar pair, but I actually like this pair. I think it's because the arms on this are a lot more dainty, so they definitely suit me a bit better. Um, but these sort of like thin sunglasses have been really in this year, so I thought I would jump on that bandwagon, get myself a couple of pairs. So this is my more normal pair of thin sunglasses, but I also decided to pick them out in red. So we're now moving into my more funky sunglasses, and I thought what better place to start than my lovely red sunglasses. So they're exactly the same style, just with red lenses in instead. Um, but yeah, I really like them. They make everything red and life just looks good in red. I then have my pink heart-shaped sunglasses from H&M. I think this was the first pair of funky sunglasses I bought. I think it was last year or something, maybe the year before. But me and my friend Lena both got matching ones and we decided to twin because, you know, we're that cute. I've then got quite a similar pair from Shein, but they aren't heart-shaped, they're just more oval-shaped. Um, again, they're pink, they're funky. I love it. I try and get my friends to wear my funky sunglasses, but they don't really do it, or they might wear it for a little bit and then just take them off. But I'm trying to encourage them to branch out, be funky with your eyewear, why not? Why wear black sunglasses all the time? I don't get it. Um, Okay, I'd get wearing black sunglasses all the time if the option was between black sunglasses and these because these are just ghastly and I don't know why I picked them out. But they're basically these red tinted sunglasses but they just look really weird. Like they definitely do not suit me. I don't know who they would suit. Um, but if any of my friends want them, you are welcome to have them because I am definitely not wearing them. I can say that for sure. I keep forgetting about these ones because I got them quite early in the year, but they're these tinted yellow sunglasses that have this sort of hexagonal frame. Hexagonal? That doesn't sound right. This hexagon shaped frame. Um, but yeah, they're yellow tinted, they make everything yellow. I don't know whether I prefer red tinted or yellow tinted, but they all make everything just look great living for it. And then finally I have two pairs of heart-shaped sunglasses. So they're exactly the same just with different coloured frames and lenses. So this pair have brown lenses and a yellow frame and then this pair has black lenses and a white frame. But yeah these are definitely quite out there, they take up quite a lot of your face space space that sounds so weird um but yeah they are definitely out there and they make a bit of a statement so i tend to save these for when i'm feeling very funky and that is it for my rather extensive sunglasses collection i actually do wear quite a lot of them like especially the funky ones because on a night out i'll normally take a pair with me just because it makes everything a bit more fun um but then with the normal ones i like to keep a pair in my car or sometimes it's nice to just have a normal tinted pair of sunglasses in your bag because you might want to block out that sun. Um, so yeah, that's my sunglasses collection. I hope you enjoyed it. I only did this because it was recommended to me a few times, so hopefully those people are satisfied. I don't know. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed and I will see you again soon.